Good evening, everyone. It's Maribeth here, and I'm here with Finn to participate in Onesie Wednesday. And I'm also going to be doing the 18 question tag. I was tagged by Lori's Creation 2017. I really didn't think I was going to be able to make a video today. I have got one of the worst headaches I've had in. I have migraines, but sometimes I get them so bad, I'm bed bound, and that's how I've been all day today. I just got enough. It's lightened up enough so that I can try to do the video, because I didn't want to let Lori down, and I also wanted to participate in it. But before I start the questions, I'm going to do them while I change him. He's going to be wearing this Peter Rabbit onesie. They've worn it before. It's my favorite onesie because I love Peter Rabbit. And I really don't have a lot of Peter Rabbits, anything. It's probably just this onesie, a sweater, and one of the girls' sleepers. And I love Peter Rabbit. So he's going to wear that onesie. I literally, literally crocheted this the day before yesterday to put it on him with the onesie. It's a little overalls. I don't know if you can see them. I don't know if they're going to fit him. They might be too small for him. I'm not sure. But I just crocheted it. I, I couldn't sleep at night, so I just did that. And I did a little see little hat with little frillies on top it's not a pom-pom they're just little frillies which I was gonna add ears to but I got tired so I didn't get a chance to add the ears to the, the hat on the sides I'll probably do that later on on another day not today and just the little plain booties that I made for it I'm putting the pants on because it's too cold for just plain onesie so I don't want him to get cold. Right, Finn? I don't want you to get cold, buddy. Okay, let's start the tag. Let me give you a little lovey here. First question is, where were you named after anyone? Um, I don't know who I was named after. My father used to travel a lot because he was in the military. And he was been to Germany, etc. And he, somewhere in one of his travels, heard the name Mirabeth. So that's what he wanted to name me when I was born, Mary Beth. Spelled the same way that I'm spelling it, but with an H at the end. But when he, they did the birth certificate, they accidentally put two T's at the end of my last name. They had that correct and removed one of the T's, but they never had the H added on to it. So I stayed as Maribet, which is spelled as my name is on YouTube. So I was meant to be a Maribet, but Due to error on my birth certificate, I ended up Maribet, which I like. It's unique. But there were some times where I spelled it with an H in certain time, And then eventually, as I got older, I stopped putting the H because it wasn't on my birth certificate. So, I orig originally spelled it when I was growing up with an H. Then I stopped it. When I realized it and saw my own birth certificate that it didn't have the H to it. Okay, let's not keep this going on too long. When was the last time you cried? Uh, last week. I was very emotional last week. For thing, certain things I won't discuss, but yeah, last week. What's the last time I cried? I can get emotional. I'm not usually an emotional person, but 
I can be very emotional. So last week, anyway. Do I have children? Yes. I have three biological daughters. Two that are not biological, but related. And my stepson, which I don't call him stepson. I just call him my son. From my husband's previous relationship. And the two girls, one is my sister. She calls me mom. She is 13 years younger than I am. Excuse the alert. And the other one is, she's originally my cousin, but I've been raising her since she was born. So, yes, I have. And my other my biological daughters are all girls, three girls. I've raised five girls. The only boy I had in the house was my son, and when he used to come over to visit and spend time with us. It wasn't every day, and I love sports and boy stuff, but God blessed me with girls, and I do not. I would not change it for the world. I'm just going to put these little light blue socks like his shirt with dark blue and green in it or yellow yellow green yellowish green on it yeah the neon green so the next question is would you would you be your own friend yes i would I'm a very caring person. I love to help people. I would give shirt off my back. But I, I, I would. I'm not a bad person. I'm actually pretty kind and loving. So I would be my own friend. So people usually lean on me for, or come to me for advice, etc. Um. I'm a good person, let's just say. Um, what's the next question? Uh, let me see if I can read my own. Do I use sarcasm? Yes. With my husband, because he's very sarcastic. So I try to be sarcastic back. It's just for fun. And, um... Growing up, my cousins were, they're all guys, and they were all very sarcastic, and I grew up around them. I was, like, the only girl, so I grew up around a lot of sarcasm. Let's see if this fits you, buddy. Let's see. Um, number six. What the... Oh, what's the first thing I notice about people? Their eyes. I I am a kind of person that looks people straight in the eyes when I talk, when I meet them, etc. Their eyes and their expressions. I'm pretty good at knowing a person's characteristics. I I pick it up very quick. Their vibes. What type of person they are. Well, let's see if this fits. Hold on, I gotta take him out of the screen. Yeah, I look at people in their eyes and I can tell from their facial expressions when they're talking, etc. I can tell a lot from a person. I'm a pretty good judge of character. And this looks a little small on you, bud. Um, so, yeah, the eyes and their expressions. Their facial expressions. That's how I, oh, excuse me, that's how I, um, that's the first thing I notice about people, and this is a little tight, and it's because his legs are curled up, and I can't get it to go up because of his curled leg, but we'll get it there, there it goes, okay, number seven. 
Do you have a special talent? Um, I haven't done it in a very long time. I just stopped doing it all together. But I used to lo I love sketching, drawing, and painting. As a matter of fact, the last sketch, color sketch that I made was of a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel dog and my daughter. I gave it to my daughter because she fell in love with it. So she took that. She has that picture. I've loved drawing since I was a kid. And my girls also draw. The two youngest are very good at drawing. They make their own characters, etc. <laughs> On the computer, mostly computer drawing. They have this, the pad, the sketch pad or whatever pad you call it that they draw on. They draw on the pad on the computer. But my middle child is extremely talented. She can sketch anything. Okay, do you have pets? Yes, I do. I have three German Shepherd dogs. One Havanese. I have uh, three cats and my parrot who's a yellow nape amazon and two canaries now that's a if you think that's a house full of pets you have no idea what I've had as my children were little growing up and wanting everything I've had from mice to rats to the only thing I have never owned is a snake. Well, we did have a bearded dragon, but I never owned the snake. We almost did, but my husband said no. So that was the end of that. Okay. Where was I? Eight so nine is what was my dream career? My dream career was to be uh, work in, um, oh, I forgot the name of it. Oh my God. I just had the name in my head. Okay, so I'm just going to describe it because I can't remember what it's called. You know the people that work in business and they draw or create the logos for the major companies or things like that, like the logos for, let's say, Aetna Insurance, etc. But they create every time for a commercial or etc. They create logos throughout the year or little things that go through there. I, I wanted to draw. And be able to create those and be in the business side of art. To me, it was art, but in, during doing business. But I was not able to do that because my father did not like me taking art. His thing was that art was not going to take me anywhere, that I needed to stop it. I love my dad to death, don't get me wrong. My senior year, he always insisted I'd be a doctor. I got him down to a nurse. <laughs> he was a nurse. Um, but um, he refused for me to get keep taking art. So for my senior year, I did my schedule, etc. And art was part of my schedule. I took art in high school for three years. But my senior year, I took art. And when I went for my senior year, art was missing out of my schedule. And I went to the counselor. He's like, why is art, was art removed out of my schedule and I have another science class? He said, because you need those classes for your career. I'm like, I already got, I started school very early. And I had all my classes. Already. By the time I was a senior, I was, supposed to, I was already able to graduate as a junior. They refused to let me graduate my parents because I was too young. I'll give them that. 
I started school at four, basically. So I started very early. And they always just talk, tell me, oh, I'm going to put you back, etc., because you're not supposed to be in school. Your birthday's passed to January, etc., but they never did. My birthday's in March. So they, my dad and the counselor had apparently gotten together and removed my art and substituted it with another science. Talk about crying and being angry. Yeah, that was me. But I accepted it. Let's see, who was your first best friend? My first best friend was a dog that, a little puppy that my uncle had found, friend had found in the woods. And they gave it to my uncle and my uncle had her for about two weeks and then he decided he wasn't going to keep it. And he asked me if I wanted her and I said, yes, of course. I was 13 at the time. And um, two days later, he comes back and wants to take her back. Now, I'm a very respectful child. I was raised very respectful. You do not say no to your uncles or aunts or your mother or your father. You, I've never disrespected anyone. But that day, I grabbed that dog and I refused to give it to him. He pulled her through the legs and I had her wrapped her, her hands wrapped around her chest. And I said, I am not giving her up. And he even called my mother, and my mother said, I'm not getting involved in this because you gave her to her. And needless to say, my uncle left without a dog. And that was my best friend. I cried with her. I told her all my secrets, the pains that I was going through, everything. She knew everything. And literally, she understood it. She turned out to be a half husky, half wolf. So that's why she was out in the woods. Um, but that was my best friend. I have a family that's very old-fashioned. Friends were not allowed in the house. I was not allowed to have friends. I was not allowed to have any or be, participate in any after-school programs. I had to come straight home after school and be home and not go anywhere. I was not allowed to go to my prom. I didn't go anywhere. So. That tells you how strict my family was. So my friend was my dog. My best friend. And let's see. How tall are you? I am 5'2". And still growing. I'm just kidding. I'm 5'2". And yes, I'm short. <laughs> I can't change that part. How many countries have you been to? None. I've been in the United States all my life. So, I haven't been to any country. Now, if any country I would want to go to would be Japan because I love animation like my kids. Anime is, I'm hooked on it since my kids got me hooked on it. And I like their culture. And I've always wanted to go to London. And Paris. Just to see the Eiffel Tower from the bottom. I'm not going to climb the Eiffel Tower because I'm terrified of heights. But, yeah. I, will, I always wanted to go to London, England, and Paris, and Ireland to look at all the different color grass. My favorite subject in school was, and my worst, my favorite subject in school, aside from art, was science. I love science. And I liked math. But I was really good in science. Well, I was really good on both. And my worst subject, history. I found it that all that stuff already happened. Why are we dwelling on it when I was in school? But right now, in my life now, I wish I had learned history. Because I'm all into history now that I'm older. But back then, I was like, that already happened. Why do we have to bother with it? <laughs> We can't change the past. That was my thoughts back then. Okay. What would you name your children? I have named them all. My biological children. My oldest is Cheyenne. The middle one is Thalia. And the youngest is Savannah. 
all names I pick. And my sister that I raised name is Jennifer. And my little, my other one that I raised, my little cousin, which is my daughter. They're all my kids. They have kids that call me Mimi. I I am just, I don't see myself anything other than their, their mother. Um, she's named Annie. Anna. One N. Don't you ever say two N's or she will flip. Anna, one N. <laughs> we call her Annie. Let's see. What sports do you play? Currently, I don't play sports. I played them in high school. Well, we were in gym. I love basketball and I love baseball. I tried playing football, but every time I saw my brother coming at me and I knew how hard he played football, I would run. <clears throat> I would start to play, but I was terrified of him. <laughs> my favorite sport now, and I haven't done it in a year, and I was very adamant, was cycling. I used to come home from work, grab my bike, and go for a bike, two-hour bike ride. I love cycling, and I want to get back into it. But I do love cycling. Let's see. Number 17, it says, what phone do you have? Right now, I have no no idea. I've had it for so much so long now. I think it's a Blaze ZT Max something, but it's an Android. It's the phone I'm recording from. Now, the 18, the last question says, what is your worst bad habit? My worst bad habit is that I procrastinate. Yes, I tried to wait and wait and wait to do something. And I wait so long that eventually it's just, I lost the desire to do it or either don't do it or it's done late. So yes, I pro I'm a procrastinator. And that is my worst habit. And that's it for the questions, everyone. So let me show you little Finn here. Here is little Finn. Let me see. Here he is with his onesie, his Peter Rabbit in the front. And his little overalls that mommy made him and his hat. Here's little Peter Rabbit. Bring him up close. I don't know if you can see him there. There he is. And here's Finn. The hat makes a little shadow on his face, but it fit him really good. I didn't even measure it on his head. And here's the back of the overalls that I made. And they do fit him. They fit him pretty good. And, oh, you keep spitting out your passy. And here's the booties. They just go right in and it's just like, looks like a one piece. Like if it was a sleeper, but it's not. I should have just made it a sleeper, or footed them. Overall, there he is, my little Finn Finn. You want to say hi to your aunties, uncles, grandmas, and papas? Hi, aunties, uncles, grandmas, and papas. Mwah! Well, here's Finny all set for Onesie Wednesday. And the tag is done, Lori. I'm sorry I came on so late. I really have not been feeling well all day. Now I will be tagging Just Bippy channel. I will tag you on this tag. And Jeffrey63031. That's Nana's channel. If you guys want to participate and do the tag, I don't know if you've done it already. If you've done it already, then it's done. But if you haven't, if you want to participate or have the time, I know you're going through a lot, Nana, so if you don't have the time, I completely understand. But that's the two people that I'm tagging for this questionnaire, the little tag. And from Finn and I, I wish everyone to have a blessed rest of your week and enjoy the night, the evening because it's like 8 o'clock over here probably. I'm not sure. But yeah, here's little Finny with my little crochet, little crocheted um, overalls I made him. Because the onesie by itself now in the winter is just not enough. He'll be too cold. 
And I don't want my munchkin to be cold. Well, Bubba, here's your lovey. Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Here. All right, everyone, you have a great night. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my viewers. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my babies, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of any future videos. Thank you, everyone, for watching. This is the imitation of Peter Rabbit that came with a pajama. Excuse the alert. So I just thought I'd put him in here, even though they said it was a Peter Rabbit. Well, when I got it, I know it was a Peter Rabbit. It's an Eden Rabbit. I mean, that's what it says on the tag. Well, again, thank you, everyone. You guys have a blessed day and rest of your week. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.